Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Tato this one, and we just got a starter on the first Pokeballs. Alright then, the one thing to do before we leave them all is finally get these. K-Head, K-Head, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Yeah. Oh, what a double Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch, how nice. And you're your father's child, alright? Look good with Pokemon. Look good together, I'm sorry. Here, honey, if you're going on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Look with a zip in your step. Shoes with the running shoes. Those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. Da -da -da -da. I think that you're your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. So yeah, now I can finally run. And now that we're on Route 101, I suppose we should probably start talking about the Pokemon here. Um, first Pokemon you find here is the Gratita slash thing of the thing. Oh, might as well talk about this one first. This is Puchiana. Um, it evolves into Mighty Anna. It's an uh, average and mass type Pokemon, I wouldn't highly recommend it. Though it does have Intimidate, which means when you throw it out there, it will cut your, po your opponent's power in half. Need ability, but uh, still, stats do not make up for it. Alright then, uh, next up is Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is a is not a very good Pokemon like Mighty Anna, like uh, Puchiana. It, it's average at best, and it evolves into Lunoon, which is also average at best. Um, but it makes a good HM, it does make a good HM slave though. It uh, can learn Cut, it can learn Rock Smash, it can learn Strength, it can learn Surf. No, wait, no. Puchiana can't learn, but Zigzagoon can't learn Strength. Lunoon can learn Strength. And finally, we have Wimpole, the Caterpie type enemy of this generation. Um, at level, at level 7, it evolves into two different types of Pokemon either Cascoot or Silcoot, which evolve into either Beautiful Light or Dustox. It's pretty easy to tell. Um, now, this, the way that, the way that it's determined which it evolves into is depends on the time of day. But, and I quote this from the official guide from Nintendo timing is so complex, it might as well be random. They literally wrote that in their official player's guide. <laughs> wow. So yeah, um, Beautiful Eye is the more offensive t of the two. They have a good attack, um, uh, attack and special attack. Cascoon I and mean, Dustox is, spe is uh, defense Pokemon, special attack, special defense, and regular defense. I don't highly recommend either of them. They, neither of them learn extremely good moves. There are better buff types out there. And they, and like, and like I said, the, and uh, and, like I said, both of them towards that one part. Part. Wow, I can't talk today. La 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 la. So, uh, this guy's... This guy's gonna put me some weird Pokemon. But it turns out they're only my footprints. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay, then. Now I'm heading out. On to Route 102. Um, alright then. Now our first battle. I think I'll do a Chugger Conway, guys. If it's a... If it's a required battle, I'll show it. If it's not, then I won't. You want to fish for Yeah. <sighs> Dimsa Kelvin would like to battle. Send out a Pushiana. Level 5. Go, Muddy! Here's mud in your eye. Oh, actually, I tackled your face. Here's mud in your eye. Does the exact opposite of wow raises your attack points. Okay, nice trick. Heck all. Screen. Now these are berries. Um, they were introduced in Crystal, and they've been changed a little bit in, uh, in this version. Now instead, now like always, you can pick them and stuff, but they always grow in this type of soil, known as loamy soil. I think it's called. Now instead of the berries just uh, regenerating, you have to plant them. Soft loamy soil. You can plant a berry, and it will grow another tree. You always get at least two berries from a tree. Some give three. I think one might get four. I'm not sure about that. No, it's only, I think the max is three actually now that I think about it. 
so the only way to get more berries to continually is to plant them and then you can grow more. So yeah, pack of berries for poisoning and one berries to store at 10 HP. So I'm just gonna put one back. Um, and so some more time to grow into new trees and you can pick them again. But you have to eat with a certain time frame because if it will grow into little sprouts, then it will go into a mini tree, then it will go into a full grown tree and then it will go back into, into these seeds again. So you have to be there at the right time, otherwise they uh, won't work. Haha, let's see if we can get this. Come on, come on. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Come on. I'm not here anymore. God damn it. He went back. Ugh, this is not starting out well. Whatever. I always find this last funny though. To keep winning my way up, I see that I have to catch even more Pokemon. Yeah, she wants to throw the Hoku, and then we ended up putting this down here. We have a potion. Like we didn't have more than we all needed, but not whatever. Oh, I can't believe we got to talk about the Pokemon here. Whoops. That there are uh, three, or actually a couple of new Pokemon that can be found on Route 102. Um, first off is Lotad. Lotad is a is a Pokemon that starts off sucky, but it evolved its evolution, its fun evolution actually. Uh, Ludicolo is actually a very good Pokemon. It has very good special stats for the most part. Um, I'm not going to get it simply because I already have a water type. It's a Ludicolo is a water slash grass type. And I don't really need a grass types, so you don't need that much in this game, and I already have a water type that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend, if you don't get Mudkip and you want a water type, I say go for Ludicola if you don't mind using a few, a few uh, TMs. Um, the, but, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, Ludic uh, one thing to remember though is, uh, Ludic in order to get Ludicola you need a water stone. And with, I think, every evolution in this game, except for like, two exceptions, well, two exceptions, um, you, once you use a water, a stone to evolve Pokemon, they do not learn any more moves. They are stuck in the moves you get there unless you use TX. So beware of that. The only exceptions are the Oddish family, where they where they learn Petal Dance after even after you evolve them with a stone. And if you got the last week, it also learns Solar Beam. Uh, you've got two more Pokemon that are around here, and if you find them, you are lucky as hell. Um, they are Sea Dot and uh, one of Sea Dots, which is a Grass type. I'm not talking about using it right now, I'm playing this with the team. Wow. Uh, C dot is a Lotad. One is C dot, which is a which starts off sucky and goes into shift tree with a um, leaf stone. With a leaf stone? Yeah, leaf stone. Wow. I, think, I want to say grass stone, which is stupid. Um, shift tree is actually a pretty good Pokemon. Has good stat, has good offensive stats while being the least average in other in the other categories. Um, I'm not gonna get one right now. And the other one is Waltz. Which is also extremely rare. It's a very rare Pokemon. Now, Waltz is a special type of Pokemon. Even it, it has three evolutions. It's purely in Gardevoir, and uh, and Gardevoir is extreme. It's extremely powerful in special attack and defense. Problem is, until with Gardevoir, its regular all of its other stats are average at best, and with Curly and Waltz, its other stats suck. Which is why, which is the only main reason I'm not getting them, because otherwise I would, because I do like Waltz. Waltz is a very, I do like uh, special attack and stuff, but the fact is it's slow and it has horrible physical uh, defense and not good HP. So this is literally the truth. One time I had a Curlia, it was three levels higher than this one with Choke, and it got KO'd with one Karate Chop. It wasn't even a critical hit, it just, it just got killed in one hit. It wasn't even effective. That's how bad Curlia's but a defense and HP are considered, which is the only reason I'm not getting it. Otherwise, I would. I, I, it's a pretty good Pokemon, but I'm not getting it. And this is our dad. This is actually probably a good one to cut it here, folks. So, uh, see you next time on Let's Play Pokemon Ammo. I am K Head161. See ya.